Mainstream opinions suck. Mine don't. This is the Outkick Daily Mailbag. When do you think we will reach the point at which all COVID-related government restrictions have been lifted and how long after that point will it become a mainstream opinion the lockdowns were terrible government policy? I think by the summer we'll be back to somewhat normalcy. I think you'll be able to go to baseball games uh, watch your favorite Major League Baseball team play hopefully by July 4th. I think certainly by the fall we'll be back to full football stadiums. That is presuming, hopefully, that the vaccines actually work. Now, second part of your question. How long until lockdowns are acknowledged to have been failed governmental policy? I hope that that's where we're eventually going to get. I hope that there will be rational, reasonable, legitimate analysis of the decision making that leads to a consensus opinion in the future. I'll give you an example. Vietnam was a disastrous decision for the United States government eventually it came to be pretty much consensus that our policy surrounding Vietnam was horribly flawed. That took years and years to officially become the consensus. The Iraq War may well have been a disaster. It will take years and years for that to be consensus. I think it might take 20 years until the full story of COVID is known and until there is an overall consensus opinion. That's how history works. Uh, As a guy who majored in history in undergrad there are all different sorts of ideas competing and over time with the benefit of retrospective review we can come to see the truth more clearly than we can in the immediate and emotional aftermath of highly challenging times such as what we've been through with COVID. So my hope is I'm 41 I hope that by the time I'm 60 people will finally circle back around and say you know what? Clay Travis was right. We never should have implemented these draconian lockdown policies and I think unfortunately we'll start to see it in the years ahead. The biggest flaw is going to be the acknowledgement that we never should have shut down schools because many kids are going to end up missing a year or more of classroom instruction that they'll never be able to make up for the rest of their lives. That to me is the big bit that's to me the most seismic and the largest flaw of our response to COVID is that there was no data no justification, no legitimate reason to have ever shut down schools and kept them closed. Kids aren't in danger from COVID and they aren't primary vectors vectors of transmission. The average teacher is under around the same amount of danger as the average person who works at Walmart or in a grocery store but they have a lot more significant job in the molding of our young people and many of our educational institutions completely failed in dealing with COVID. That is what I think will take potentially 20 years to be acknowledged.